Hi everyone, um, it's Lauren Berglund and guide dog Sheba who is sitting next to me on her bed. I don't know if she'll get up and make an appearance in this video or not, but she's right here just sitting with me. And today we are going to show you our everyday, um, I guess, guide dog supplies slash equipment um, or accessories. So this is stuff basically anytime we go out in public. Um, we use and some of it even more fruitfully. So I guess first and foremost the most used item really which I kind of forget about because it's just always on her is her collar. So she is yawning again. <laughs> she just wears, I really shouldn't film these after she wakes up from a nap. <laughs> um, 24 7 she just wears a metal, um, sorry I'm gonna hold the tag so I don't want to show my address or anything. Just a metal training um, collar. Uh, some people call it a choke chain, even though it doesn't choke her. <laughs> um, and on here is just like basic tags, microchip ID, guide dog school tag, um, rabies tag, and then one with all of my information. And so this is the collar that she wears anytime, all time, except for if she gets a bath or if I take it off like in that situation. So the other most used item would be her leash. So this is just a basic leather leash we get when we're in training that you can um, unclip and then make longer. And so this is the end that clips to Sheba. And then when leash guiding, I hold on right here. And then like when she goes busy, the strap is right here and there's a wrist strap. So that is used many, many times a day. And then we have, we'll save that for last. Um, she was trained with positive reinforcement and food rewards. And so we are still using food rewards. Um, I always have them with me. We don't use near as many as we used to, but we still do use them um, on occasion. So treat pouch is the next thing. This is just a small, simple black treat pouch. I really like this. This is also what they just provided us um, at our guide dog school but I love how small and kind of, it's very discreet because when I strap it on, I put it around my waist like a belt and then my shirt covers it. So all that's really hanging out is the treat pouch. And then I also have on a Vera Bradley, not sure if it's a coin purse or what you would call it, um, ID pouch clipped on here with a carabiner. And in here during the school year or when we're staying in the dorm or other places that you have keys, I don't know, camps. Um, I have keys, my keys on here, and so then it's really easy since I only have one hand most times. I can always drop the harness handle. I can unclip with the carabiner, and then I have this, like, I don't know how to explain it. The only other place I've seen these is like ID tags in the hospital um, where there's a little, it's, or a retractable leash, kind of like a retractable leash for my coin purse. But it works very well, and then if I don't drop it all the way, it always is just, there if like I miss the clip or something. It's heavy enough that it doesn't stay there without the carabiner. But in here, I keep poop bags because when we're in the dorm or in a hotel, I just unclip this from the treat pouch and then I take her leash because she can leash guide and this and then I can take her out to busy and I don't have to worry about not having poop bags. Also in here is a little cache and then my school IDs. And that just obviously has kibble in it. Um, and then lastly would be her harness and probably the most important part. So this is her guide dog harness. It is provided to us by her, her guide dog school, which is the guide dog foundation for the blind. Um, and it is set up like just your normal old harness. Um, sorry, just a second. Something is hooked on here wrong that I just noticed. So I'm gonna fix it quick. Um, where there's the body piece and then the removable handle. Um, but anytime she's out in public, for the most part, this is always on her. And then on her harness, I have the Guide Dog Users Inc. Um, please don't pet me. Or I think it says, please don't pet working dog. I can't read it, sorry. Um, sign, which is also a pouch that clips on very well and can't fall off with these straps. 
Um, they're like seat belt or backpack buckles. Um, and it has reflective taping on the sides and then there's also reflective taping on the handle of her harness and then on her body piece. So we'll go through what's in here in a minute, but also hanging off the harness, I don't wanna hit her in the head, um, is a, here, we'll just take it apart quick. So when I mentioned how the handle comes off, you just unclip on either side and then pull the handles out. Ours is a little more difficult to pull the handle out because our bunny ears are modified by our trainer. So here we go, now I can't hit her in the face very easily. So here's the body piece. Um, this slides over her head and then this is by her chest and then under her belly and it clips on the other side. So on the side of her harness, um, behind where the handle hooks and before the uh, bunny ears and straps is Velcroed on, that's why I love this poop bag dispenser, an earth rated poop bag dispenser. So what I really like is it has this thin Velcro that I can wrap around and holds it here really nice. This is the third poop bag dispenser we've tried in almost 12 months, wow. Um, and I love it. The first one we tried was just all fabric and it ripped within two weeks. Then I tried one that was plastic and I didn't, I couldn't find a way to attach it that didn't bother me. I didn't want it on the rings because it seemed to impede the movement of the handle. And so I really like this one. And then I like the bags too, they work pretty well. And you can also put bags from different brands in here. Also on her harness is a small little light. They gave us one of these in trading, uh, but somehow the clip broke. I don't know if she laid on it wrong or what. So this is just a pink one that my grandma actually got her. And so that is all, and that's for night travel, sorry. We don't use it often at all, but it's just a, let's see if I can get turn on, just a small light. And honestly, these are the two things that I get asked about the most when we're out in public. Um, really, I don't know why, but. And then in the harness pouch, we have, on this mess. Okay, sorry. Um, e. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. A um, head collar. This is a gentle leader head collar. It's not a muzzle um, to use around food and other sniffing instructions. So I just keep it in here so I always have it. And that's what makes this pouch mostly fat. Now it's very thin and bites weight. And also I have a Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer. I chose one that didn't smell very much because, I don't know, you get enough attention to do you when you have a dog, so there's that. And then that's for me, not her, obviously. Uh, clicker. This was given to us during training also. Um, I do have a clicker. Some people don't know what a clicker is. It just, when you push in this metal part, it makes a clicking noise and then she obviously, she has to get a kibble for that. Um, that's how the clicker works, is the positive reinforcement. That noise equals something good equals kibble. Um, so that's why I had to give her a kibble if I was gonna click it. I keep this here, um, targeting if we're reworking through something. <laughs> she yawned again. Um, this is just, I don't lose it if it's in here either. Also in here is a whole bunch, well not a whole bunch, maybe five poop bags. These are just gallon sized storage bags um, that come with zip ties, but I don't use the zip ties so they don't have the zipper or anything. Um, I like to use these for poop bags around the house and the dorm. Uh, they're also in here, heaven forbid, if the one was to fall off her harness or what they are used for most often is cleaning up dog vomit. So I like those. And then also, lastly, other than a few things for me, is our um, Guide Dog Foundation ID and an emergency $20. So that is everything we take with us um, when we go out. Would you like to stand up and say hi? Stand up. Here is Sheba. She was just laying right there. Wagging your tail. Okay, thank you for watching.